Hi everyone, I'm John of Page, and it's been ages uh, since I've used this uh, dictionary, our journal. Uh, I've uh, done videos before about uh, this. I just glue some uh, pages until I think it's uh, thick enough, and I'm going to start by just sewing on the page. Now, usually I will just uh, cover some of uh, the text and then I will uh, have left some interest with all this text that I have but this time I decided to try and stencil a lot <laughs> on this page this is one of the stencil uh, that I made so I've got gesso here and makeup sponge I'm going to dab the excess and I'm just going to stencil with the gesso now I'm hoping to first uh, cover some of the text leave some uh, visible so I will have details and interest in the back and also I hope that the gesso will create some resist with the paint that I'm planning to put on top so We'll see if it works because I'm planning on using acrylic paints which are not uh, translucent, they are opaque but I'm hoping that if I will keep it to a very thin layer it will work, it will still work and I will still get a difference with the areas that are gessoed. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Of course, this is going to take me quite some time to stencil all of this. I want all this double spread to have these leaves in the back. And in some places I go again with the gesso to uh, get a more, more coverage. But it doesn't have to be that uh, precise so I know uh, now you can't uh, you can hardly see it but it's here so let's see let's do one here and I'm going to continue covering the page with this and then I'll come back I'm back so finished stenciling I hope you can see some of it and I've got here all kinds of acrylic paint in greens I just want to play with them I didn't really care about the name or whatever just want to play with them on the page and hoping as I say that I will uh, still see what's going on here so I'm taking a makeup sponge and I'm starting with the uh, with the light green and let's see okay so it does show <laughs> but I really need to uh, keep it light uh, smear it and keep it light so I'm just dabbing and putting it on the page like so and let's take another a uh, color I'm putting putting this uh, quite randomly just want all kinds of greens in the back and I'm doing it quite quickly in hopes that they will uh, blend together and I won't have harsh lines in between although it's not that uh, important and I still uh, plan on doing all kinds of other stuff on top so we'll see haven't really planned it uh, all the way through I just wanted to try this and see where it gets me
Okay, let's take from the darker green. Haven't put anything underneath here. Let's take some. Oh, great. Something here. Okay, I'm really, really liking it. <laughs> I'm keeping the darker green to the edges. As always, I prefer the dark uh, tones to be uh, at the edges. It doesn't have to be. I can take uh, the light one and add it a little bit here. But mostly the darker color are kept to the edges. I'm trying not to overwhelm uh, with paint here again, so I will still have all this uh, gesso uh, visible through the acrylic paint. Almost finished. Okay. I like it. Okay. Let, letting this uh, dry and then I'll be back. And I'm back and I'm I thought about adding more details to the background I'm not sure about it so I'm leaving it be uh, for now and I'm going to uh, use the gesso again to make this a uh, flower stencil here and I'm thinking another one here so it's back with the makeup sponge and the gesso I prefer using the gesso it's a I think it's more opaque and it has a chalky finish but you can use white acrylic paint so I'm just going to do this and of course if I want it more opaque I need to do more than one layer and this is really up to you how you like to do things so I'm dabbing away here and as you can see I've got some yellow acrylic paint here which I'm planning to put on the inside but first I want to have the white gesso as a nice base for it Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more in places that I need, I think I need more coverage and now I'm dabbing into the yellow. And I'm also going a little bit out and I'm taking gesso and I'm kind of blending it towards the outside now I'm not sure about all this yellow so some of it I'm just going to cover with more gesso I want it blended but I don't think I want all this yellow to to be all the way 
towards the end of the petals. So let's see. If I don't like it, I will just add more of the gesso. Okay, now I like it <laughs> better than I thought it would be. And I'm going to do the same flower here and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. I am I have I'm having trouble with my camera. I don't know what it filmed, what it didn't. I'm just <laughs> hoping something will come out of this video. I, while I'm was stenciling uh, this I just took another stencil and stencil the word happy here these two flowers just make me happy and I was going to do a stem and I was going for some green and then I decided no I want to continue with this uh, white I've got some uh, acrylic uh, marker white acrylic marker this is uh, from Zig and I really don't care. I just have bad luck with acrylic white uh, markers. It doesn't matter what company I buy. And so I'm just going to use whatever is going to work right now. And I'm really liking the white. Uh, but as I said, it doesn't work that well let's change it now i'm using posca marker <laughs> told you i've got bad luck with white next some on a known brand from aliexpress Okay, yeah, maybe do I want to do some leaves, I don't know, I really like it as is, I think I will just add some, I don't know, I'm looking for doing some circles. So I'm taking some uh, round lids or whatever that I always keep on hand. And let's see. I still have got here the gesso. So I think that's what I'm going to use. And I'm not looking to for a great print. I just want to add something to the background. Yeah. Now I want something smaller. Let's see. What else do I have here? Okay, here is a smaller one. And maybe a little bit of the yellow with the gesso. Yeah. Now I'm really happy. Just one more. I don't know. It just I'm going with the feeling. <laughs> there are no rules to it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm not touching it anymore. I really like it. I'm leaving it be. This is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.